Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we're talking about what if Deku had the Demon Summoning app redo. So, in the last video we left off Izuku after he was rejected by All Might, All Might saying that he couldn't become a hero, he jumped off the roof and basically killed himself, but not only that, he met his proto fiend and sorry did I I'm sorry that I say like um I said like demi fiend I meant proto fiend that there's differences there but still they're called a proto fiend and that proto fiend was called Shang A aka the Chinese goddess of the moon it will make sense very soon so after meeting her she told him that he is a non and if you want to become a hero, then take her hand. So, after taking, well, her hand, he woke up as he decided to no longer go back to school. Now, staying forever, not really forever, more like after he did, came out of the hospital. But he got the notification from his cell phone. And this notification was the Demon Summoning app program. So, after doing, well, the choices in that app, he started leaving as he was teleported to this weird looking place. Which, I'm, even though it's going to be similar to like, um, Shin Megami Tensei Five story, it's not gonna have like the whole like world building where you just basically go to, you know, to the throne of heaven, basically control the world. Instead, it's gonna be a bit different. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, so. After meeting his, well, um, first demon being Loop Guru, which helped him fight against these demons and some of these angels, they started finding a way home where they got attacked by a Valkyrie. After stabbed, or should I say slashed at, by the Valkyrie, he started healing. As Loop Guru told him that he was a Nahobino and no longer human. And he told him that he should try and think of something like a weapon. And so he created out of his two hands two large blades, one short and one long. As he slashed at the horse, basically killing off both the Valkyrie and the horse, and they escaped without getting harmed. Izuku thought it was a dream and just left it at that. But he got a notification from that demon summoning app and he heard Loop Guru once again in his phone. So after Loop Guru explains what is this, like what are now Beanos and also what he really is and also what is that world, well, Izuku was dumbfounded but also quite curious. And so Izuku left by himself. And started researching and also you know also just like writing on this notebook about his experiences with this demon summoning app he decided to go to sleep and so we left off with that so let's talk about what happens next so we move to izuku in his dream as he's in that black void again as he sees Chang Yi. Chang Yi says this. So, how's your first time in the world of the demons and angels? A world of strife and pain. As he says this. So, that world is filled with angels and demons? But, as she says this. Oh, don't worry. I mean, they're quite mean, but still, if you were to be aligned with one of these, you know, alignments being chaos, neutral, or lawful, you would either be aligned with the demons being chaos, lawful being the angels, and neutral being neither. It's your own choice. In your case, because you picked the alignment of, you know, chaos, well, <laughs> well, I guess you're now aligned with demons then. As he says this, so, 
I'm basically, as she says this, yep, pretty much. Either way, you should be going back to, you know, to the real world. See ya. As she waves goodbye as Izuku wakes up in the morning. He's covered in sweat. As Izuku would say this, oh yeah, I need to start getting ready for high school. As he remembers that he's going to be going to a different school very soon, being you a high, but instead of becoming a hero, he now realized that he couldn't become a hero and so decided to become a normal ass student there, aka being a general study student. So, wait for a second. So, after Izuku changes his clothes, he gets a notification from the Demon Summoning app as he hears Lu Garu again, or Luke Garu, or whatever you want to call him. He says this, So boss, so what are we going to be doing? As he says this, oh we're just going to go to school. As he says this, but school is fucking boring. Why not just have some fun? Maybe like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe like get more freaking demons to help us. As he says this, but I'm sorry, but I need to do schoolwork first. As he says this, tch, nerd. As when he hears that, it triggers a memory. Bakugo calling him a nerd, calling him Deku, and beating him senseless. Izuku would say this to Loop Garu, Don't call me nerd or I'll race you. As Loop Garu hears that, he says this, Uh, that's a joke, right? As Izuku looks angry, he looks like he's about to basically sell him off. As he says this, uh, okay, okay, uh, I'll stop calling you that, okay? Uh, Dev, you're scary. As he says this, uh, I should be going to, I should start going to, well, uh, to the entrance exam immediately. So, Izuku leaves as his mother tells him to be careful. Even though she knows that Izuku is no longer want to become a hero, she feels sad for him. So, Izuku's now at UA High doing the general studies, you know, um, entrance exam. Izuku finished it with fine colors as while he was leaving after that because there's no, like, um, you know, the whole, like, practical exam because he's quirk or quote unquote quirkless technically. Because he technically does have a power, being he, that he's a Nahobino. Not only that, having the Demon Summoning program. So, while Izuku was leaving, he sees a girl fall down. This girl seems to have... Wait for a second. Seems to have brown hair and brown eyes. As she says this. Ow. I should have done that. Ow. As Izuku would... Um, Take his hand, and then take out his hand and says this. Are you okay, miss? And he says this. Oh, um, uh, hello. Um, um, as she says this, so are you also going to become a hero? As he would say this. No, I'm just a general study student. Either way, I should be leaving. I'm already done with my exam anyway. As she says this, um, uh, thank you, or, um, what is your name? As he already left, as she says this. Oh, uh, I guess I should be going now. So she leaves to go to the entrance exam for the UA, well, hero exam or the um, um, actual hero exam or whatever it's called. So, while Izuku is going home, well, he gets a notification again back from the demon summoning program as he sees it as it's loop guru again as he says this hey boss <sighs> because you're finished with your whole like school thing maybe we can you know maybe cause some chaos in that world as he says this <sighs> fine so 
Isiga goes to the same underpass where he first got into that world as when he goes through it, he's back where he first, well, escaped from that world, basically. The light, um, that beacon of light, basically. As he says this, So, this place, it looks exactly like Japan, but except, well, as he says this, Yeah, it's a reflection of this world. Basically, what happens in this world if, I don't know, um, chaos starts starting, you know, when chaos starts rampanting, pretty much, as he says this. What do you mean by chaos, exactly? As he says this. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. Well, let's just say, this world is about to end soon, thanks to all of these quirk users. As he says this, what do you mean? As he says this. Well, because of their pride, anger, and also discrimination, no, it's been fueling the demons, specifically the ones of the fallen race, and also many others that are also aside with them. So, ha ha ha, God. As he says this, so, you're basically telling me that all thanks to quirks, demons started, you know, making this world look like that. As he says this, yeah, basically. And if it's, well, you know, not contained, well, demons, angels, and many other monsters like these, well, let's just say this world, or at least your world, will be destroyed. As he says this, hmm, so is there a way to, as he says this, well, I guess, well, Basically this, he made to, you know, kill the source of that, and that source is by destroying this guy. As he says this, what do you mean? As he says this, well, apparently a human started, well, um, worshipping Lucifer himself, or at least an aspect of Lucifer. As he says this, what do you mean by aspect? As he says this, well, there's two different versions of Lucifer. One that just wants to take over the world, and the other wants to protect humanity. And in this case, the evil one, the one that literally wants to take over the world. Yeah, that's what that guy is worshipping. As he says this, so... How about the... as he says this? Oh yeah, the one that's, well, wanting to protect humanity? Well, we don't know. At all. We seriously don't know. As he says this. So you're telling me that the good one basically disappeared? Yeah, basically, says Luguru. As he says this, oh, why am I not even surprised? So, um, is there, as he says this, oh yeah, I almost forgot. You can basically recruit demons, and if you don't want them, you can also sell them in the shop, in the demon summoning app, as he says this. Huh. As he sees in the option menu, there's a little shop. As when he did, well, go into the shop tab. Well, the shop tab seemed to have several different items. These items are mostly food, um, healing items, and mostly other such stuff. But he also saw something interesting. The demon, um, thing. What do you call it? Wait for a second. Demon recruitment. As he sees this, as he tells Loop Guru or Loop Guru this, as he says this, oh yeah, you can basically recruit demons if you want, but it fetches a high price. The best way to get money, well, it's by killing demons. And thanks to me and you basically killing that Valkyrie and also those demons that were about to kill you and that angel earlier, or should I say yesterday. Uh, let's just say we kind of have a lot. As he looks through it, as he sees that he has a few bucks to spare. As he says this. So, what I can buy? So, while he's scrolling, he sees several demons, which have complicated names. As, while he's scrolling through this little list, he sees something that interests him. 
I might interest him. I might wait for a second, god damn it. Interested him. In this case, a demon. This demon seems to be a red knight riding on a black horse. This black horse has green eyes and silver-ish hair. This knight also seems to have horns on his helmet and wielding a large spear. And the name of this demon is Elagor. As he says this, so... Um... I mean, it has a high price, but... As um, Blue Guru says this... Mm, maybe try. As he bets on it. After a while, nobody didn't even bet on him, as he says this, so... Um, Loop Guru, can you tell me about this app? Are there, like, other users, or... As he says this, Well, there is, but there's only one per country, so... You're the only one that's able to use a demon summoning app in this country right now. As he says this, So, I'm the only one in my country that has a demon summoning app? As he says this, Exactly. As he says this. Uh, why am I not even surprised? As it turns out, Izuku won the bet as he gets his brand new demon ally, aka Elagor. So, wait for a second. As Elagor would speak, as he says this. So, you're the one who summoned me. Very well. We shall start a war very, very quickly. <laughs> As he says this, please, for God's sake, please don't come over here. As he says this, uh, either way, what should we do, Contractor? As he says this, okay, first of all, just call me Izuku. Second of all, come out of here. As both Luke Guru and Elagor would come out. As Izuku would see that Elagor is quite tall. Like, seriously. Like, compare Izuku to him. Like, he's basically the same size as Izuku, but to Izuku specifically. He's about the same size as, like, two Izuku stacked on top of each other. And it's not helping that he's riding on a horse, so it makes him even more taller. As he says this. Um, hello, Mr. Elagor. As he says this, hmm, contractor, let us start a war and let us cause some chaos. As he says this, um, okay. As he sees several demons nearby. These demons are mostly slimes. And if you don't know what are slimes, well, just imagine the typical slime, but in Shin Megami Tensei style. You can just like search it up on like on um, Google what they look like, and trust me, those do not look those do not look like slimes. They're more like more like something that you would see in a high level room or like a boss level or something. <laughs> anyway, as Izuku would say this, um, can you try fight these things? As Elagor would say this, huh? <laughs> Very well. As Loop Guru would say this. Ah, uh, sure. As Loop Guru starts jumping around, as he starts, well, he starts smashing these slimes into oblivion, being destroyed in an instant by his sharp claws. As for Elagor, his sword starts, well, crushing them beneath its feet, as Elagor would start, well, would start to right in the eyes? I mean, I guess they technically have eyes, but still. Yeah, let's just say they stabbed him in the eyes. So, after doing that, Elagor would say this. <laughs> what an easy fight. Master, how about we decide to, you know, attack something much more stronger? As Elagor would say this. Not Elagor, I meant Deku or Izuku. I told you just call me Izuku. As he says this. Very well, Master Izuku. As he says this. <sighs> he just sighs heavily as he says this. Either way, um, let's start training. So, after a while of killing many demons in that area, well, many demons are basically gone. After hearing that 
a slaughter was starting to happen nearby because of, well, Lip Guru, Izuku, and Elogor basically causing some chaos. So, after doing that, and also recruiting some demons that after he recruited, like, um, just like in the, um, game where you can basically recruit demons by, you know, talking to them, well, he basically done that, and also fused some of them. And some of these demons that he fused, well, he made a few more. So, Izuku would summon them as these demons were Cerberus and Matador. As Cerberus will say this, well, he doesn't talk, it's more like a dog, so it basically comes towards him as it starts, well, um, asking for head pats. And so, Izuku started head patting him like a normal dog. As for Matador, he says this, <laughs> So, Master, let's do something else more, um, showman-like. As several demons, specifically, well, um, wait for a second, Bicorns start charging towards them, as Matador would say this, Ola! as he basically stabs them right in the stomach, like, all three of the, um, you know, um, Bicorns are basically destroyed by him, because after all, um, I guess you could say, well, horses are kind of like bulls, but still, let's just say he just basically cut them down in an instant, sidestepping them, just like a normal ass bullfighter, and basically just cutting them down. I think that was cool. As, after also another while of training, he would start learning how to control his Nahobino form, which, in this world, apparently Chang A is able to talk to him now, as Chang A would instruct him to try and think of like armor. So, after a while of like learning how to use this, well, armor, he can somewhat uh, maintain this brand new form, which I'm gonna show you now. So, Izuku would look like this. In this brand new Na Beetle form, as he would say this. Whoa, um, why do I feel like I have a mask? As Cerberus would start getting, like, he would start panicking, thinking that his master disappeared, as Elagor would basically comfort him, saying, Don't worry, master is just in his brand new form. Hmm. As Loop Guru would say this. Damn, that actually looks good on you. Like, seriously. At least it's better than that. Well, cowardly form of yours. As he would say this. Great, thank you. As Elagor would say this. No problem. As Manager would say this. So, Master, do you live by here or... As he says this. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. As he forgot that, he was meant to go home pretty... Pretty, pretty soon. Because, you know... Well, his mother is quite worried about him, especially after, you know, basically, well, basically trying to commit suicide. So, after getting back home, he saw his mother basically on the couch worrying about him as she says this, Oh, thank God, Izuku, why are you so home late today? As he says this, um, don't worry, mother, um, I was just, um, um, I'm um, doing workouts. Yeah, I was just working out. As she says this. Really? As he says this. Yeah, look. As he pulls up his shirts. As he's starting to get a six pack somewhat. As she says this. You've been exercising. For six hours. When there was a gym nearby. And you could have just said that to me in the text. As he says this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> As she would say this. <sighs> Either way, Izuku, come have dinner. I meant, come have dinner with me. It's been a long time for, since you, you know, had a dinner with me. I'm worried about you. Like, after you did that, I was... As Izuku would say this. Yeah. Um, either way, I need to go to sleep soon, so, as she says this, then, um, have dinner with me, or, as Izuku would say this, no, I will just take my food upstairs. As he leaves, 
his mother all alone again. As she says to herself, What happened to you? So, Yuzuku is back in his room basically eating dinner as he started writing on this notebook about his powers and learning about them and also um improvising like um strategies in case of his powers being well um you know being deflunked or um being deactivated or things like that so after doing that he gets another well notification from his well demons as matador would say this that was a great training exercise master as he would I meant, as Izuku would say this, I just, I told you, Matador, just call me Izuku. As he says this, <laughs> very well, Izuku. As Elagor would say this, yes, that was a great training exercise, but I actually want to cause a war again. As he says this, no freaking wars. As Loop Guru says this, <laughs> there's no way for him to make, you know, there's no way... That you can make him budge. Like seriously. I tried telling him that I can. Well you know. Maybe have a snack on that angel earlier. But as he says this. I told you do not. As he says this. Ah, save. I told you Elagor. As Elagor would say this. <sighs> Whatever. I'm going to get some sleep. As for Cerberus. It's be Like Cerberus is still acting like a dog. Basically just like. Um, you know, doing, like, normal dog things, basically, eating, like, um, eating, like, um, like, dog food inside of a bowl, and it uh, literally says on the bottom of the bowl, it literally has a name, and you know what Izuku nicknamed him? Serby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, after doing that, Izuku started getting ready to go to sleep, and so, he falls asleep. So, that was the end of this episode, and so, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!